Howdy y'all. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you how I created this fun, festive holiday card. So let's begin. We're going to start out by bringing in our stencil and our ink along with our sponge. Well, actually it's just a bit of our sponge, but it's just the right amount for what we're going to do. So we're just going to run this over the top of our ink pad. Then we're going to brush the ink. We're just placing ink down on our card panel. And actually, we're doing it in the wrong direction. Here. This is a better direction to be going for. Okay, we are now done with the stencil and with the placement of the ink in these cloudy areas. Now we're going to stamp. And we are going to start out by stamping our sentiment into place. For our sentiment, we are going to stamp it and heat emboss it. And I'm just using my EK Success powder tool to prep the card panel. Now we're only going to ink up our sentiment. We're going to leave this little branch alone for now. We're going to stamp our sentiment in Versamark, Dazzle, and the Tint Frost. Bringing in a microfiber cloth to make sure we get some nice even pressure. Just going to remove our panel from the stamp platform for right now and we're going to place some gold detail over our stamped image. Just stick the gold detail over our stamped sentiment and then we can heat emboss. Now we're just going to scatter this little sprig of berries all over the place. Starting right here. And we're going to stamp that in evergreen. Now I'm inking up with Catherine Pooler Midnight and stamping down these Lavinia stamps. Now we just need to place this on our card panel. We're going to bring in some Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. Now this is the mini size 
and there's also a regular size. Just need to place this panel on top of our foam sheet. It is liquid glue, so you can adjust it just a little bit still. Now we can place it on our card front. Bring in our T-square to make sure that we get it all nicely, evenly spaced. There you go. Gonna bring in our red dew drops, along with our jewel picker. And we're just gonna place our glue right on top. Now you don't just have to go for the red, you could also you can also sprinkle some of these Mardi Gras colors onto these stems. Now I'm not going to put them all next to each other. I'm going to try to scatter them around a bit. We'll just do one more. I think we'll do this one right here. Let's make sure we have enough silver because I'm going to put silk on that other one. There you go. I kind of like those a lot. I want to thank y'all for sticking with me to the end of the video. The description box will hold a listing of all of the supplies that I used as well as where you can get them. I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. Bye!